you want to be good at investing or in starting up a business, you need a strong Mercury line. In this video, I'm going to teach you all about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jain, and on this channel, we talk about palmistry as a spiritual tool to help you navigate your life. So if you guys want to learn about that kind of thing, make sure you hit subscribe. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the Mercury line and how it will help you in investing intelligence and also in business intelligence. And I use the word intelligence specifically because both of these traits are associated with Mercury. And this line over here is actually the line for Mercury. So if you have a thick line over here, most likely Mercury is in a really good space in your birth chart. But this line runs up diagonally towards a pinky finger. That finger, by the way, is also the Mercury finger. And the presence of this line alone suggests somebody who's got a strong intelligence. And that's either intelligence that can be directed in financial markets or towards science or even just general reading and studying. But if you have this line, it means you've got a good ability to think outside the box and to think for yourself too. But how this relates to investing and also in business, if you look at those two professions, they're really two sides of the same coin. To be a good investor, you've got to figure out how to deploy your capital effectively. And to be a good businessman or woman or an entrepreneur, you've got to figure out how to use the resources you've got available to you the most effective way. And that's the strength of Mercury. Because if this line is thick and strong on your hands, then you've got that intelligence. However, if it does break and fracture, like in this hand over here, then that means there'll be periods in your life where your intelligence leaves you, or that special, uh, let's say, entrepreneurial gift isn't with you. And more specifically, if it breaks very close to your headline, that means that you're going to have confidence-related issues that will lead to poor investment decisions. Usually, this happens in around about your mid-30s. On the other hand, if you have your Mercury line break, just as it gets close to your heart line, that means you're going to have emotional issues that lead to you making poor decisions. So these are the people who get greedy and bet the house on a particular trade and that goes pear-shaped. It's the greed or the emotion specifically that leads to that decision. So have a look at your hand and if your Mercury line fractures in either of these two points, that means you've got some inner homework to do before you jump into trading or even starting up your own business. Now in the olden days palmistry books, they used to say that this was a very rare line, that only one in 10 people have it. But in my experience, in today's day and age, almost everybody has this line. In fact, I'd say one in 10 people don't have this line anymore. So things have changed a lot over the last couple of hundred years, more and more people are becoming educated and that's raising the intelligence of a population. And I figure that's a good thing. But you also want to be having a look at any symbols that you have at the end of this line. Because if it forms into a trident, that's a sign of having a lucky gift with starting up businesses or investing. It will also make you a good scientist too if you ever choose to go down that path. If you have a square formation at the very end over here, that will give you protection from serious financial losses in your investments. It's also going to give you a good ability to communicate as well. And if you have a pot and flower symbol over here, that's actually one of the best symbols to have on this mount. It basically gives you like lots of luck and also lots of wealth. There are a whole other range of symbols that pop up on this mount over here too. So if you want to learn about that, click on this video over here where I talk about the different Indian palmistry symbols. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot.